G'day Tato. I've done a drawing here on Extract CAD to show or try and show the movement of um, a traverser with cassettes on top and uh, it's basically this section here. Uh, this board is about four foot long um, and it's got four cassettes uh, spaced at about 75 mils and allowing a bit for space in between so altogether the board's about 300 mils wide. Now, uh, what I'll do is uh, highlight this uh, so we can see some movement in it. Just bear with me. Okay, here we go. Now I've highlighted the board so I can move it. Uh, just to confirm that this is the edge of the baseboard. Uh, that's your entry track and that's the back of the baseboard against the wall. And the entry track is here because I've started using the edge of the baseboard as, as the place to start from. Uh, there's no point putting the entry track further in here, it's just further to reach uh, to move the traverser. So uh, what we'll try now is to move the traverser and you, you can see why the entry track is here because this road has to move over to there. I mean we could go all the way over to the back here but I think that's um, just making it even harder for yourself. So that's, that's the um, length of your travel between the edge of the baseboard and the first road and the uh, and the entry road. Now of course um, you need to be able to lift the cassettes off so this uh, board actually has to come out past the edge of the baseboard out to here. So the only thing that concerns me is the, the uh, sliders that you might have uh, they need to cover quite a good range of movement between this area here, uh, say near the back of the baseboard, right out to here. I mean if you've got sliders that will do that, that's great. Uh, but um, if you haven't, well it might need a bit of a rethink or um, a reduced um, uh, storage system, maybe instead of four cassettes you have two cassettes on there. So. I'll, I'll try something with two cassettes just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Just bear with me. Okay, here we go with uh, just two cassettes. I've left the board the same size because that doesn't really matter so much. I mean, the board could be reduced in size, but the main thing is the number of cassettes that determines how much movement you need. I've also moved the entry track over closer to the edge of the baseboard to line up with, with this track here. So, I can show you now the difference in the movement. Now obviously it only has to move one to there. So that's your range of movement for tracks and then when you want to remove a cassette you bring it out to here. So you can see there's a lot less movement overall in the system um, and it still allows you to get it right out to um, to access the cassettes. Obviously when the cassettes are working or you're running trains in and out of the cassettes uh, or you're just generally sitting around watching trains, it's better to have the um, traverser with the cassettes on it in this position, in the operational position, because it keeps the baseboard edge clear. You're not having to walk around this thing, uh, so that's, that's why I've done it this way, just to show you. Um, I guess the other thing is to try possibly three cassettes. Uh, it just depends on the size of the sliders you have, so maybe you should uh, use that as a starting point. Um, just see how much movement you've got in the sliders, and that will determine uh, how many cassettes you can have. Okay, cheers, Gormo.